that time of the year in the village, this year, the 30th anniversary of the riot that put Attica on the map. I really can't say that much about it because I'm not that old. He was six months old when the blood and the bullets and the tear gas turned an uprising into a massacre. I right, go right around to the supply truck and pick up the shotguns and rifles. When state police stormed Attica prison to end a five-day standoff, but created a bloodbath in the process. I was just scared stiff because uh, I didn't know, you know, you've never been into something like this and, uh, and you don't know what to do. In 1971, the inmates here were not all of one mind. There were murderers, religious revolutionaries, Czech forgers. In the initial riot, they killed a prison guard and three of their own. Inmate Herbert X. Blyden negotiated with Corrections Commissioner Russell Oswald for amnesty. You and I know that that's, that's a lie. Did you believe that they would grant amnesty? No, I did not. Did you tell your fellow inmates that? I could not could not because he feared he would set off further rioting. Day five, and Governor Rockefeller orders in the troops. First, the helicopter. The helicopter came over saying, uh, you will not be harmed, put your hand on your head. People, whoever were in the helicopter, come in and drop the gas. It was mass confusion, mass confusion. You could hear the shooting and the hollering and the screaming. They came in to kill. They didn't come in to uh, retake, just retake the prison. They did kill 39 people, 10 of them hostages. They fired more than 3,000 rounds in six minutes. Hostage Gary Walker survived. He walked stunned through the prison. And there was a commissioner standing there with a nice suit, shirt, and tie on. And he stuck his hand out, and he says, I'd like to congratulate you. And I said, mister, you better get out of my way, or I'm going to knock you on your ass. And there was my brother. And we hugged, and we walked out. An anniversary can be a time for asking, what if? What if the governor had come to the prison? What if he hadn't sent in the troops what he did? What if they were better trained? And what if the officials at Attica at the time took control at the very beginning? Former inmate Herbert Blyden believed yeah. that might have made all the difference. Had they taken control of first day, I think that this massacre would not have occurred. Herbert Blyden died of cancer in 1997. <laughs> Last year, for the first time, the families of guards killed in the uprising and the massacre were permitted to hold a memorial service on prison grounds. Most accepted small payments for their loss under workers' compensation. Former inmate Frank Smith received $375,000 in a civil suit against the state that took 26 years to resolve. 500 others will share in around $8 million. It's a prison, it's a place, it's a memory. I, I knew a lot of kids from school. They lost parents in it. Bad news. It's Attica. Rich Kelman, Channel 2 News.